The average tarot deck contains 78 cards with pictures on them. What you do with these cards and what meaning you attach to them is entirely up to you. It is a popular thing to use these cards as fortune-telling, that is to say, to divine what your future will be. There is, of course, nothing wrong with that. Who hasn't sought an answer to what lies ahead at one point or another? But if that is all Tarot is to you, you are missing out on a vast resource of inner reflection. Above and beyond fortune-telling, Tarot is for communication with the Divine and with your higher self. More than that, though, it is a means to communicate with your inner self. You can ask the divine and your higher self what is important to know. And through Tarot, an answer will come. You can ask yourself what is really going on with me right now. And through Tarot, an answer will come. You can ask, what is the true content of my heart? Tarot will guide you to that answer. You can ask, what direction should I be headed right now? Tarot will act as a compass pointing you in the right direction. To treat Tarot as simple fortune-telling is to severely limit its true power. Tarot will help you understand how we all, each and every one of us, live the archetypes of the universe. It will illuminate how we every day tap into the energy and the power of these archetypes. Tarot is a blueprint of our soul and a map of our spiritual journey, and not merely cards to be read or pictures to be looked at. This book takes a spiritual approach to Tarot. It will help you understand yourself now in the context of where you have been to catch a glimpse of where you are headed. This is beyond simple fortune-telling. This book is about the wisdom of the cards. Each card is a piece of the puzzle of who you are. To understand the cards is to master humanity and to live fully. The answers and the wisdom of this book are not absolute. They won't be until you attach your own understanding to them. How do the words here resonate with you? Honor that. Do you see something completely different in the cards than what is presented here? Honor that as well. Tarot is not about concrete and definite answers. Tarot is about interpretation and gut wisdom. What does each card say to you? That is the meaning of the card. Use this book to guide you on your Tarot journey, but do not consider it as gospel truth. Use this book as a jumping-off point to develop your own intuition and knowings. Through Tarot, you will discover your truth. What you see in each card as they apply to yourself and to others is what define you as an earthly being in many ways. With each card being a piece of whom we each are, how could it not? Tarot is universal, yet personal. How do you view yourself as an individual in the context of the universal allness? This book is here to help you find this answer. Tarot and Enlightenment. What is the point of it all, anyway? Why are we here? Why do we get born? What is the meaning and the purpose of our life? Is there a grand scheme to it all? A grand purpose? How do our lives fit into the ultimate meaning of the universe? In what way do we fit into the context of the whole of everything that is, the all that is the allness of all? Why even have humans on the planet in the first place? A great and true purpose of our life, our presence in human form upon the earth, is to learn lessons. Our spirits strive to attain perfection. Perfection comes from mastering what it means to be human in form. In human form we experience joy, pain, happiness, sorrow, worry, jealousy, hardship, ease, highs, lows, ups, downs, empathy, anger, contentment, bliss, peace, rage, the list goes on. Each of these things, when mastered, contributes to the strength of our spirit. 